Okay, I think it's working. Hello again, everybody. This is my second video now, so hopefully um, it'll be a little better. You can hear me because I'll speak up <laughs> and less mumbling. All right, so on my blog today, I posted pictures of my inspiration journal. Now, I have all sorts of things in here, but that's not actually what I want to show you. It is the butterflies on the front. If you were wondering where can I get those or um, how do I make them, well, I'm going to show you. They are pretty simple, and what's super good about them is they are very inexpensive, um, nearly free. <laughs> and uh, to do them, all you need is a transparency. Now, you may just have these in your office supply, I don't know, but you can get them at any office supply store. I got mine on, I believe, Amazon or eBay or somewhere, and 100 sheets for $10 or something like that. So inexpensive. And I have this set of stamps. They're from Martha Stewart, and I believe even Walmart carries them. I've seen them there. Um, and we're going to stamp directly onto the transparency. So put our stamp onto our clear block. Our clear block's a bit of a mess but it works and stays on ink. Now the reason you need stays on ink or a solvent ink um, is because we are stamping onto plastic and in order for it to not smudge or smear or get wrecked, it has to be a solvent ink that will dry really uh, quickly and stick really well. So let's ink this up here. And we're just going to stamp two images. Now you have to have a steady hand while doing this because it slips on the plastic really easily. And you can totally wreck your image just by the slightest move. So directly down and directly up. I'm going to do that again. Get up and press directly down. Don't wiggle. <laughs> and pull up. Okay. Now you could use stays on ink remover to clean your stamp, but I'm just going to press it down a few times with some scratch paper. And it takes most of the ink off. So you can see <laughs> right here. That's what I do often. My stamps, I'm a little lazy I guess. Probably wrecking them. I don't <laughs> suggest just doing this to clean them. Okay, let's put the ink away because you don't want it to dry out at all. It dries pretty quickly. And it stamps away. Now you cut them out. Now, to cut them out, you want to be pretty detailed for it to look the best. You don't have to be. But I suggest a pair of scissors like cut kind of these. Love them because of the pointy tip. So um, you can just cut away. However, you may want to leave a little drying time. In fact, like just a couple minutes drying time. In fact, though, I have some already cut out, so you could dry these, or you could go like magic, oh, they're cut out. Now, it doesn't matter how you layer them, you put the, you can't even tell which side the stamp wants to dry. Just stick them right on top of each other. And you could obviously use glue dots, a line of ink. Um, you could stitch it, hand stitch it with a thread, but I find the sewing machine the best because it gives a straight, perfect line for folding. So I'm going to just turn around here and zip a line up and down the center of this butterfly. Um, very quick and easy. These scissors are getting a little dull, so I use them a lot. Okay. Perfect. Now, take the top wings and pinch them together, pressing down at that center line where you sew in a stitch. And voila, you have a 
flying butterfly. I absolutely love these. I use them on pages, scrapbook layouts, uh, cards, just to decorate a place, to obviously decorate my journal. And I cut out, sometimes I'll stamp like pages of them and cut them out while I'm watching TV and I have a little tin just in my drawer here where I keep them for when I need them. All my transparency cutouts, like you can use, you can stamp anything on transparencies and put them down with glue dots or whatever you'd like um, on your layouts. But my favorite is the butterfly. So there you go, see transparency images all ready to use. So I hope you like this embellishment. Again, cheap and easy and quick and awesome. So try it out. See what you come up with.